Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel um, here at Crypto Nation. It's going to be a quick update on go over um, UmaCoin. It's still one of the top right here in Crypto Bubbles as one of the, yeah, as right now is under, well this is under the top like 200 uh, coins or tokens. Um, it's still up significantly. It, it retra it, right now what's going on is it's, um, it's actually retracing. Um, it's down 7% for the uh, day. And I recently, man, I just been um, started. I've already started loading up on this coin. I feel that it's gonna. This is during the next crypto bull run. I'm excuse me, the next pump, major pump, that should be coming within the next week or so. This can definitely pump between fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, those of you who don't know, this is a Web three uh, project. It's dealing with Oracle. So it's supposed to be a competitor of Chainlink, but we all know that that um, that ICP pretty much. It, it solves all that. But the thing I like about this one is that the market cap, I was really attracted to the market cap. Right now it's at 398 million market cap. And this can this can definitely get up to a 5 billion, between a 1 to a 5 billion market cap in the short term. Like, you know, within the next like month or two on the next major pump. This uh, Another thing what attracted me to is just the actual, the um, the chart. I just like the way the chart looked. The overall chart. This is the one year chart right here from like from two dollars came all the way up here it traded sideways for a while and then this was this is where people was obviously loading up and you look at the all-time chart the all-time chart is actually it's actually up 348 percent still in the all-time chart but the all-time high looked like was about was around 33 dollars and that was during february of 2021 that was during the last bull run obviously it went up to 33 dollars but i believe um, coming up in 2024, this coin could definitely hit possibly this could hit 50 bucks. I'll say I'll give it 50 to 100 dollars a coin. Um, just seems like a pretty decent pro project. I obviously did my research. Some people's already trying to comment and give some negative feedback on the coin. Hey, don't buy what you don't like. Buy what you want. I'm going to buy what I want. That's the whole thing with crypto. Um, we're not we're not all going to be in the same projects. Every all of our portfolios obviously going to is, is different. You know, people just don't get it. <laughs> people just can't get it through their their thick skull. So please don't come make a comments on my channel. Uh, talk about this is a bad project or blah. It's gonna blah blah rug pull or whatever. Just don't do it. All right. You're just gonna get comment. Just gonna get deleted pretty much. But anyways, um, like I said, I just I love the way that I like the way the chart looked. This is the one month chart right here. Look at this. Very bullish. Here it was sideways. Obviously, people was accumulating. You look here, it just went right on up. Now I got in, I got in at around between like five to six dollars, and it recently pulled back a little bit. So that I, I thought that was opportunity, you know, to pick up more. I believe this is definitely going to do good in a bull run. Uh, here's a seven day chart. Seven day chart right here, like right here was at two dollars, and it just it just spiked up. Look where it spiked up. Looking very bullish. Chart looks very bullish. Here's the one day chart. Obviously, it pulled back. It retraced and pulled back here, but it's still over five dollars. And I thought this was right here. This was opportunity to go ahead and pick up and buy some more since it retraced. But I believe the next our next major crypto you know run that we got coming, like I said, within the next week or so, um, this is this could definitely hit between fifteen to twenty dollars. That's the reason I wanted to you know get in on this play because this is definitely gonna um, uh, do good. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, go over the website here. Oh, I've already clicked on our website. Okay, here's their website. A, a decentralized truth machine. That's what they're doing. Um, Uma's optimistic. Oracle can record any verifiable truth uh, or data onto a blockchain. So what happens when I click there? Okay, it says the optimistic oracle verifies data in stages. Right here, a statement is proposed as true. A natural language statement is submitted along with a bond. The bond acts as a bounty for anyone to dispute it uh, if they have evidence to the contrary. Oh, that sounds you know pretty interesting. I'm not 100% familiar with all that, but it sounds pretty interesting. Anyways. Uh, then it says most statements go undisputed. Anyone can propose a answer to a data request and it is accepted as true uh, if it's not disputed 
uh, during the challenge. So yeah, there you have it. Um, anyone can dispute a statement. Each statement submitted for validation is an opportunity for anyone to earn a reward by disputing it's successful as the game theory would predict disputes are rare in practice because the incentives are always to be honest that makes the zero zero optimistic already right here says launch app I can launch the app right here it says stake vote earn up to okay this is something else okay, I'm gonna close that now okay uh, stake vote earn up to 30.1 APR it's a stake vote earn governance prediction markets okay okay then it says the zero zero can validate natural okay I think I read that already dial governance made simple yeah this looks like a pretty pretty promising uh, project look at the website yeah I definitely got this in my portfolio and I will pick up pick up more of these uh, coins um, as I as I go Alrighty, so yeah, there's the website. Looks pretty interesting. Go here. Let me see here. I'm just, you know, trying to get more familiar with this. Cross chain communication, real world assets. Alrighty. The zero zero can verify any statement, including statements about data on other networks. Uh, the, uh, the the OO can be used in this way for cross chain messaging. It is used by the bridge across protocol today to enable cross chain asset bridging. Um, but yeah, this is definitely gonna look like it's gonna do good. Some of the key features here: Ethereum validator ratings. Okay, I'm not familiar with all that. Poly Market. I'm just browsing through this website. It looks, it looks pretty interesting. Their website. Definitely pretty interesting. All right. Anyways, that's my update on um, on Uma. You can tell me what you think. But anyways, this is definitely uh, then right here it says you know Uma is an Ethereum token that describes itself as an open source protocol that allows developers to design, create their own financial contracts and synthetic assets. The protocol name across excuse me name comes from the team's goal of creating. Universal market assets. Okay, that's what UMA stands for. Universal market assets. UMA. Okay, I'm glad I found it again. So there we have it. UMA. That's what it stands for. The universal market assets. Anyways, yeah. And this is a project that I do also believe in going going forward in the bull run because I believe this coin, uh, you know, will do good. Uh, but anywho, you know, thanks for tuning in. Thank everybody for uh, watching. Uh. Please, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. It is totally uh, free. Um, and then there's the market, uh, the volume. The volume right now is at negative, negative 57. And look at that market cap. Uh, this market cap, could, this 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 market cap is definitely on the upside. Could be on the upside. That's what I like about it. The fact that it's under, it's it's actually right now it's under 500 million market cap. So this is not even out of, it's not even halfway there at the billion and this can definitely get up to like a 10 billion market cap go, you know going into uh 2024 but anyways um i will see you guys in the next one um take care